Hey everybody and welcome back to Art Like Heart. In today's video I'm going to show you how to draw a Palomino horse kind of at a trot. So the first thing I'm going to do is, as like in all my drawings, I'm going to sketch this up really loosely. I'm just going to add in my shape lines. And if you want a more detailed video on how to draw a horse body, I actually have several of those videos out there um, that will show you how to do that. Um, but again, you'll see all, almost all my drawings when I start off, I just really use some really um, loose lines, lots of shapes. I'm not concerned about trying to get the finished product with the first line. I'm more interested in trying to find that shape, that flow of how the line works. So once I have my head, neck, and body, then we can go in and work on the legs. So for the legs, I'm not going to draw them out you know, in detail. I'm actually going to draw them as a stick figure. So I'm going to start off here where the shoulder is, bring it down here to where the, kind of the back, um, kind of, I think it's like the horse elbow right here, back here, and then coming out to the front part of the leg, bending at the knee, and coming down to the hoof. So there's the first part of the first part of the leg. And then this leg here is coming back here. I'm using our x-ray vision, so we have the shoulder here coming back to its elbow. First joint coming down to the hoof. There we go. And then we will come around here and we're going to put in this back leg. So here's the back hip, and we're going to bring it down to kind of the knee, back to the back of the leg, and down. And then this leg, using our x-ray vision again, bring that up to where the knee is, bend it, the back of the leg and over. And the reason it makes it so much easier to do this is it's, it's so much easier to erase the simple line than it would be if you drew the whole leg out and, oh no, this leg is much longer than that leg, now you have to erase and fix something. When you have this, then you can take the picture, pull it back, look at the whole picture and decide if your composition is um, okay. It's easier to fix it at this point than it is at a later point once you have all the shadowing, especially coloring in there. So now that I have this in here, I can kind of go in and begin to adding a little bit of the muscle and the flesh in here. So I get a lot of my photos from books, magazines, um, I'll search for images on the internet, um, but I also have a lot of horse friends who um, have no problem with me coming out and watching them ride um, or take photos of them. So if you happen to have some people that have horses, um, ask if you could come out and, and take a peek at them. Take your sketchbook with you or your camera with you and kind of just document some things, just take pictures of their horse's feet or whatever you're having troubles with, and then you can use this as reference for next time that you draw. Okay, I'm going to put my tail in, and the tail comes right off the backbone. Some horses hold it up a little bit higher. I was talking and I wasn't paying attention and I put this leg on this side when it's supposed to be on the other side because otherwise my horse would fall over if this leg and this leg are in the same position. <laughs> Whoops! So well, that's why we're just sketching. We can easily erase that right now. So I'm going to put my right leg in so that my horse doesn't fall over. But just some of you guys who are really good at horse compositions and things we're about to say, oh, Miss Valerie, that uh, leg is uh, in the wrong place. You switched your legs around. Yeah, it's one of those great things you figure out before you ink something in. Or you forget and you go, man. That's why sometimes when I'm drawing, it's really hard for me to record a video, um, especially if I have to really work at something because I'm thinking so hard about the drawing and not what I'm saying that um, one of the two is going to suffer. So either my, I will make mistakes like this or you'll hear me going, um, uh, um. I, I really seriously don't know how video gamers record their videos while they're um, 
playing video games and are still able to have like coherent conversations with people. <laughs> like, I guess I am just one track minded. I can't, can't do it. Now here's a trick to help you find out how to place the eyes. So when you get, if you have a horse that is the head's kind of at a three quarters, it's not completely profile, take and find your, your center of your face line and kind of draw that down lightly. So there's my center, if I ran it right down the, the center of the horse's face. And then I'm going to find out where, um, how far down my eyes are, which is about, if you were to cut your horse head in about thirds, if your here was half, around there, and then you're going to put that at the diagonal that you want. So for here on this side, you're going to take and you'll bring that little ridge up for the eye socket in the skull right there. And then for this one, you'll be able to just lay your, your eye right in there. It's kind of an easy way, so you make this kind of just fun little T-shape. So here's another thing to look for. When I drew my horse and I wasn't paying attention, I drew this leg as this front. I ended it here, which is at the same level that this leg is ending. So this leg would be, you can't have it that long because it's farther back. It has to be up a little bit. So I'm going to have to take this in just a little bit because as, as things are farther away, they get smaller in size. So this hoof would be up higher on the ground. You almost want like this, almost like a box that the horses are walking in, and that kind of helps you let let you know where their feet are placed. So it's almost still too close to that. So I'm going to raise the knee up. So I put the put the knee almost up here a little bit. Bring it down. So if you find your horses are looking off, check that. Check to make sure that their their hooves are coming down and touching the ground at the same place. Because unless you're parallel to the ground, the ground is going to have a bit of a dimension to it. So it's going to come closer to you. The farther it gets away from you, the higher up something is going to go on your paper. So since this leg is closer to me than this leg, this leg will end farther down the paper. Where this leg is back just a little further, so it's going to be up just slightly from the paper. Another little tidbit for you. All right, so there we have kind of our finished sketch of a horse. Now is when you get to decide what you want to do with it. Um, do you want to leave it just as a sketch? Do you want to ink it in? Do you want to color it? If so, do you want to ink it in before you color it? Do you want to paint it? What do you want to do with this picture? So since I'm doing a Palomino, I'm obviously going to, want to add some color to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the lines that I don't need. And then I'll come back and add in my coloring.